So we've handled our automation, we've taken care of our transitions. Now it's time to mix, which is all about sound quality. So the first thing I want to do is make sure the levels for all the tracks are set up how I want them. We need a certain amount of headroom. And we can access all the mixer parameters through the arrangement view, as I just showed. They're off to the right. But it's a little more intuitive, and we can see a little more what's going on by resizing the mixer view area there by grabbing and dragging up to stretch out the faders so that I can see the full levels. So I have a much better picture now than I would in the range view of what our levels are like. Now what I want to do is just mute everything except the bass and the kicks. If I open up the group, we can see the individual levels of the sub and the bass line. They're both being bussed through that bass group track. And I brought the volume down on there because the bass line's too loud. I mean, I, I tend to love bass and I think to a fault, uh, it's often something my mixes suffer from. But if I click over above the master channel, we get the last peak level. And we want to set it so that the kick and the bass have a nice balance without ever exceeding minus 6 dB to make sure we have enough headroom for everything else to fit nicely in our mix. Too much drums here, so I'm going to bring them down to minus seven to start and bring them up a little bit. See, now that I've leveled the kicks and the bass down to peaking no higher than minus six, there's plenty of room for the drums on top without having to slam anything up. Now I'll do something similar for the synths, which at first glance are definitely a bit too loud. And bring the atmosphere down as well getting the basic group levels where I want them. I want to make sure the kick is cutting through, but there's room for everything and nothing's being squeezed out of the way. And we want our master levels well in the green at this point. There's no need to be smashing the levels up to the red at this stage of the mix. Now, a general rule of thumb is that if your mix sounds good quiet, it's going to sound good loud. It doesn't work the other way. It doesn't mean that if it sounds good loud, it will sound good quiet. So if your mix sounds good quiet, you know you're much better off in the long run in more situations that way. So I've managed to get the kick a little more volume without uh, sacrificing anything else in the mix. Now it's cutting through a little more the way I want and the bass is still nice and present. 